Everyone, we're going to talk about chapter four. This is part two of how uh, to use chapter four in my book, Your Relationship with You, How to Live Life by Your Rules. And in part two of the chapter episodes that I'm doing, I tell you the key learnings of the chapter so that if you're interested in learning more about it, you can hit me up on Amazon and get a copy of Your Relationship with You, How to Live Life by Your Rules, or you can go to my website and download some of the tools that I'll talk about. Um, I also have a book club. You can check out my website and see if you'd be interested in joining my book club as well. But let's get to the key learnings. And this is the part where I kind of feel like a kindergarten teacher or a librarian, because I'm gonna sort of read to you. Okay, so the first key learning is that emotions are the most reliable source of determining our needs. Duh, okay? So you need the emotions word list and you need the needs list. You can get those off of my website for free. Just want everyone in the world to have them like on their refrigerators so that you can identify how you feel and more accurately then identify what you need so you can take good care of yourself or when you're turning towards another and you are, it's windy in the chair on the balcony just moved. That's awesome. It's a little too windy. Um, or you can use the emotions word list and needs list so that when you're turning towards another and they say, how are you feeling? What do you need? How can I help you? You are able to articulate how you feel and what you need, okay? Working to identify emotions and learning what they're telling us will prevent us from getting stuck in an unpleasant spot for too long. Each of us must be able to articulate our needs for more connection and ease. Articulating our emotions and articulating our needs is a life skill, and I'm pretty sure no one really teaches us, though I have to say Mr. Rogers was on to something, Sesame Street on to something, but where did you learn in middle school, high school, college, grad school, where do you learn in life about the adult emotions, right? So maybe that's why when people are asking us how we are, what's up, what's going on, we don't really know how to answer it like social in a socially like acceptable yet articulate and authentic way instead we're answering i'm busy i'm good no complaints that's not how we feel that's just i don't know it's just bs right so i want you to be able to articulate how you feel i want you to be able to articulate what you need based on that feeling and give it to yourself or ask someone else if they're willing to give you that need all right, last key learning of chapter four in your relationship with you, how to live life by your rules. Chapter four is the emotion decoder ring. The lists help us find our experience on paper, which helps decipher our inner experience and needs. Okay, so on paper, you will find there's hundreds of emotions on the list that you can download at my website. You will find yourself there and you're, you're welcome to edit the list, add to the list, make it your own but it's right there on paper. And so the point of this simple but significant tool is we have so much noise going on up here. I can't like bring up the word that's perfectly able to articulate how I feel. So maybe that's why I'm defaulting and you're de defaulting to, I'm good, I'm busy, I'm okay, things are good, no complaints. We don't have that much brain power sometimes. Find it on the piece of paper. So go to my website, download it, MyRelationshipStrategist.com forward slash resources. It's free. I want you to have it. Make a million copies and throw them all over the place. I want everyone to have this tool.